Yo, yo, yo! What's up, guys? Glad to see your lovely faces, and welcome back to another episode. Today, we are doing a 48-hour t-shirt yet again, guys. Look at it. You guys requested it, and we have it. The Hunt shirt. Big, bold, and in your face. This shirt is available for 40 eight hours only and after that it's gonna be gone so go get it before she is gone i'll put the link in the description below as well as here at ducks we're doing 10 days of christmas the first 10 days of december we're giving you guys all kinds of discounts so go over to the website i'll link it down below just like the 48 hour shirt and go grab you something on sale for christmas awesome discounts over there but the main reason why i am redoing the intro of this video was because yes this is a huge hunt it was a great hunt we had a bunch of birds show up i don't want to give it away but this video offers a huge learning lesson for you guys but for myself i learned a lot on this hunt see this video is called episode one there's going to be another episode following this video in a couple days that will kind of wrap it up and show you what happened what went right and what went horribly wrong on both of these hunts so this hunt will go up sunday as you guys are watching it and the next one should go up tuesday so be looking out for the next one by this time this hunt the weather was getting warm but i don't want to give away the learning lesson of this video i want you guys to enjoy i'll see you at the end of it well we are in walmart doing massive things where we're going to try to find some shells and I'm sure they're gonna be sold out of a lot of shotgun shells let's see if they have what we need well they're completely out of BB loads so I had to grab two shot I, I grabbed this uh, dry lock Winchester dry lock it's an ounce and a quarter my other shells my other two shot are only ounce and an eighth so these will these will pack a little heavier load a little heavier punch we are here, we're going to sit up the avians, we're going to put out the decoys, enjoy the good old time lapse. Well, just got done sitting up all these damn decoys. Get. He's mad. Wade's mad, you know why? I'll show you why. If you guys don't recall the big, big hunt a few videos ago, old Wade, it was his side of the blind, and what'd he do? He, for, he didn't shoot that lone snow that came in. We've been putting out these little groups, these little pods of snows in full dark Canada spreads, but we put out 12 to 14 snow decoys kind of in their own little pod, and just like last time, that lone snow wanted it, landed right on those full body snow decoys. So I truly believe in using them. Let's get to it. Beautiful morning. Almost landed on four. Yeah. Good. Nick yeah. tore him up. It was like sniper. Right? First bird of the day, boys. Two on the ground. Two on the 
Yeah, there's waves coming, boys. This is about to get gnarly. Had to do something, they were leaving. We had to do something, they were landing way out there. They don't know what they want to do, they can't no. get on the wind. Yeah, that is dead, there is no wind. Well, we just had a bunch of birds work. Didn't want a decoy, we don't have much wind, so we made our hole a little bigger, spread out the decoys. Try to get them to get down a little easier. They do not want to get down. They just want to fly. There's not enough wind to make them get down and to help them get down. They come back. Here they come. They're all going to land over there. Oh, look at this. Going right over. These birds are just working. Yeah, that's a real good shot. Is there more coming from the north? Lonely snow. Yet again, let's see if Wade can hit that one. Look at it. He caught me. Holy cow! He's gonna land one on the pivot. Jeez! That snow goose wants it. 
This dang snow says, man, you can't even hit me. That one snow just, he wants to get shot today, boys. We got a lot more snows in town. Snow land. He landed. Another one behind him. The darks don't want to land, but the snows want to do it. The snows love it. Boy, howdy, they're showing up. Get down. We got a ton of birds here. They do not want to get down though. Good lord, look at all these birds. Gee, man, Christmas. Jeez. Look at all these birds. Man, these geese just keep working on us. They do not want to... We do not, oh man, there's some good looking blues in here. They're going down to the right. Are they landing? Come on, mother. Oh, man. They are all landing right beside us here. Look at this. All landing beside us. Yeah, there's a ton on the ground. Oh. Get him, poor. Get him. Yeah. Well, that got him up. That group that both caught. Yep. These birds do not want to get low. Oh, so yeah, as you could see, I was so frustrated that all them birds landed behind us that I didn't even vlog the outro. I picked up and I was, I was frustrated. This is one of the few hunts this year that I have been actually frustrated. As you guys can imagine, sitting out that whole decoy trailer is a lot of work. The birds worked us, they wanted it, but they didn't completely commit to the decoy spread and put their feet on the ground. Yeah, we could have shot a ton of birds. What did we shoot, like six or seven birds? But 
We don't like shooting. I don't like shooting into big flocks like you guys seen. We could have shot a bunch of birds. We could have. You've seen it. But we would have ended up shooting into big flocks. This is why I preach wind, wind, wind. When there's not any wind and it's a nice shiny day and it's not nasty, and especially when these birds have been hunted, they're hard to decoy. But I can tell you right now, if we would have had a bunch of wind, it would have been a whole different story. With no wind, this stuff can happen right here. And on the next video, episode two, coming Tuesday, it's gonna show a whole different hunt but could be the same outcome. I don't want to give it away. Even though we didn't shoot a bunch, this is a great learning lesson for you guys and as well as myself. I learned a bunch on this hunt and the one that you guys will see Tuesday. And I wanted to share it and let you guys see with warm patterns, warm weather, no wind, what happens sometimes. But guys, if you have not, go pick up the 48 hour hunt shirt. It's only available for 48 hours and then she is gone. The link is in the description. And here at Ducks, we're doing 10 days of Christmas. Go check out all the savings and discounts that we're giving you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like these videos, if you like me trying to teach you guys during the hunts like this, like I've been trying to do, I'm trying to show you decoy spreads. I'm trying to show you how I set up all these decoys and whatnot. Drop me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you have not because this waterfowl season, it's been hot and heavy already. I don't even have to, I don't even have to describe it. You guys already know. Thank you guys for watching. You know I completely appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys. Subscribe if you have it. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I put my